your master Lee. And Lulu. I'll tell you, Tenacious D, smart move, releasing this music video right after huh? Jack Black had that monster hit about, you know, fruit. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Wow. Funny thing is, right, that Peaches song had climbed higher in the charts than any of Tenacious D music has. For real. But that being said, though, Tenacious D actually is a pretty legit, what I would call, I don't know, side project or even fancy, if you will. Right? You got Jack Black, who's a famous movie star, mm -hmm. teaming up with his longtime buddy, Kyle Gass, making music. Not even like serious music. It's you know, the best way to describe it, I guess, is like they're kind of a comedy duo, right? And it works somehow. Like, it's not just being silly for the sake of being silly and having an outlet. They've actually won awards for their music. Damn. And he gets, you know, he gets to act. He plugs his stuff all the time. Not in a way that's what I would call offensive or like, man, he's always plugging his side projects. No, it's done in a way where it actually fits very well with his whole persona. It is kind of like the package, mm. if you will. So mm. it's pretty awesome that he's kind of living the dream that every one of us geeks wish we could, which is like, as a geek, I wish I could play video games for a living. Mm. Or if I you know, always want to have my own rock band, I could still do yeah, that, even if right. I'm middle-aged and don't be looking like him type of thing. So wow. He's the living proof. Of, he's living you know, proof. Right. That... Um, or maybe he's the exception to the rule that you could do something as stupid as this <laughs> That's true. and make it big. Granted, though, he's mm -hmm. got talent. I mean, he can definitely uh, yeah, sing and absolutely. hold a note. And he definitely knows how to rock it on stage. So mm -hmm. I think too many of us, you know. Just wish. Just does. wish we had a little bit more talent to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, let's check this out, yo. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Are you plugged in? Yeah. All right, ready? Oh, this animation's one, awesome. Two, one, two, three. I don't play video games no more. I never play video games. Except for a little bit of God of War. I never play video games. <laughs> Maybe once in a while, a little bit of Fallout 4. But that's okay, not right now. I got things to do. Yes, I don't play video games no more. I never oh my play God. video games. But Red Dead Redemption 2. Not for kids, yo. It. That's the one. It's on the album. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Oh. He's even got an 8 bit version. That was awesome. That's really short. <laughs> Baby, he don't got time to play video games and write music, okay? How many things does Jack like, got to do? No, but he admits in the end he does actually, right? You know, the truth is, like, that's every grown man adult sort of statement. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I say this all the time. And babe, I don't got time to play games anymore. But guess what? Somehow they still work their you way into it. Yeah. Like, my life. And it's not the kind of games where I sit down and play for like two minutes. I'll sit there right. and play Assassin's Creed for months to try to get, you know, solve everything. It's like a hundred hours invested still. So like every one of the games he's talking about, those are big games. <laughs> God of War, Red Dead Redemption. Oh Let's put this way. He's legit. You wouldn't know those games unless you're legit. Mm, so he knows. He knows, <laughs> man. He knows. That was funny. That's the other part too about being famous is like you get a lot of people work on your music video that was not a simple production that he put together that was some pretty amazing animation actually yeah oh my god it's not friendly with kids yeah it's definitely not child friendly but i guess jack black does do a lot of stuff that is actually geared for kids he was really famous for school of rock and that was mm -hmm. about kids and yeah. nacho libre right which is 
kind of family film, but a lot of its humor is pretty adult. Ad- adult. I want to say adult dirty, but it's sort of like crude humor, like toilet humor kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. It's almost like a teenager who's grown up to a man and has never still got up being a teenager kind of humor. That's his humor. <laughs> you know, I hear from fans all the time go, how come you don't have your own merch line? And I'm like, you know, it's even better than your own merch. Custom merch. <laughs> That's right. Over at DIY OJ. They can make your own merch. You have to say anything you want. Anything you want. And they don't just have baseball jerseys like this. They got hoodies. They got t-shirts. They got everything you can think of. I got a discount code too. That's Ooh. right. 10% off. It looks stylish like us. Their hoodies. Their hoodies are on fire. <laughs>